Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another, well, tutorial. Uh, it's a Minecraft tutorial for um, <clears throat> Hexit. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be installing Optifine in Hexit. So, uh, first off, you want to download Optifine. Uh, so, you guys can probably figure out how to do that. Uh, Optifine is right there. Uh, so I've already got it downloaded. If you uh, if you don't know how to install or if you don't know how to get Optifine, we're not gonna be covering that in this tutorial because I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, so what we want to do is once you get that, you want to type in run into the search bar and hit enter. It's gonna bring up this window. What you want to do is you want to type in percent app data percent and hit enter again. And it should bring up a window that looks like this. So now that we've got both of these, we want to go ahead and, and click on the. We want to. We want to click on the dot technic or dot. Yeah, yeah, dot technic, and then we want to go to hexit. Then, and then mod pack dot jar. We want to right click on that, and open it with. You can open it with WinRAR. Or um, or seven zip. So let me just. I'm gonna open it with seven zip because it's free uh, and it doesn't have any limitations. I like seven zip. So uh, once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and open this up with seven zip also or WinRAR. So open with seven zip file manager. So now that we've got both of these out open. We wanna click on this window and press on Control A and it'll select all of them. We just wanna drag that in there. And we are definitely sure. And then we want to delete the meta inf. Uh, delete. Delete. Okay. X both of these out. I'll get rid of all of this. And now I'm going to launch Game Booster. And it's super it's easy. This will also help reduce lag. So, um, uh, what you want to do is you want to click on Add. And then you want to make sure that Technic is on your desktop, which I have it right there. And then you just want to search up Technic Launcher on your desktop. And it's as easy as that. Then you just launch it from here. Cancel. And if we go to Options, as you can see, we've got all the Optifine stuff. So we, can, we have the slider for render distance. Basically, that's how you can test it. If you've got a slider here, then you know it worked. And you can go in and change all of your settings. And so that's pretty cool. So it's very helpful if you have a laggy computer so that you can uh, you can uh, play Minecraft and be um, less laggy. And if I go ahead and join my Hexit Let's Play world, it's gonna be uh, it's not gonna lag too bad. I mean, it might, because I'm recording. And I also haven't set up all the settings. Um, one downside of this is when you update Hexit, everything is going to come back. Like, Hexit's not, or Optifine's not going to be installed anymore when you, um, well, my world is loading, so it's being really laggy. But, um, Optifine will not be there after you update Hexit, but you can simply follow the same tutorial again, and it should work. Uh, when 1.6 comes out, though, that will... There's some things in there that's going to change it, so it might not work for 1.6. I'm not sure. It might not launch a Minecraft, because Forge doesn't like to really work with... Uh, let me just... Let me set this to peaceful for now. Um, but uh, Minecraft Forge doesn't really work well with Occupine. In 1.6. So if this tutorial has helped you, make sure to unfull screen your Minecraft because that's what everybody does. Unfull screen your Minecraft, totally. Uh, make sure to leave a like on the video, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Also, this is not, I did not invent this. Um, a lot of people have done a tutorial on it, and so if you look it up, you're going to find some other tutorials. Uh, I just looked at the fir first result on YouTube. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you, hey, diamonds, 
I will see you in the next episode. Bye!